Well, two Utahns who left for a hunting trip near the Utah-Nevada border on Saturday are now safe and sound. As we're finding out tonight, this is not the first time someone has vanished in this area. Almost one year ago, a Brigham City woman disappeared as well. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks brings us the story. More than three hours west of this Corinne gas station, search and rescue crews, along with Box Elder and Elko County Sheriff's Departments, found Chad Strain and Lee Peters safe near Granite Creek Reservoir. It was first reported the two Weber County hunters left Saturday for a day trip to hunt rabbit near Promontory and told their wives they didn't have any luck, so they continued west toward Montello, Nevada. Monday afternoon, the last known location of the men's cell phones pinged northeast of Montello, according to Chief Deputy Dale Ward, who says missing, lost, or stuck persons in the area is not uncommon. And we're at the product of the weather. We've had unseasonably warm temperatures, but we've had a lot of moisture, and people don't understand how, how bottomless the mud gets out in the west part of the county. Now back at the Corinne gas station, we spoke with Michelle Richen, who says she went missing nearly a year ago, not too far from the men's last known location. Definitely a little bit of fear because I know what it's like to be out there in this. Eating lunch with her boyfriend, Michelle Richen recounts being stuck in West Box Elder County for a week before she was found. Well, you figure desert winter time, it gets really cold at night. I mean, really cold out there at nighttime. She says she survived due to her preparedness and knowing basic survival skills. I still had gas in my car, but I lost the battery in my car. It died, so that's where I had my issues. Michelle reminds those going out in poor weather conditions to be prepared for anything. Reporting in Corinne, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. Washington County Search and